The third episode shows Fleo and Fenris waking up from their room, and Fleo is surprised to see Fenris beside him. Fleo remembers that last night Fenris wanted to make out with him, but Fleo warned her not to be weird, and he planned to sleep outside, but there was Balarasa with the others, making Fleo end up sharing a room with Fenris. Fenris also wants to change Fleo's clothes, but Balarasa suddenly comes and is surprised to see the two of them. After that, Balarasa is seen practicing fighting a wild boar, but Balarasa is not ready to fight it, then Blossom tries to attack but does not hit the wild boar. Meanwhile, Bailari and Bellano don't help enough in the battle, which makes it difficult for Fleo to train them. After that, they finally get a room because Fleo has bought the house from selling a mad bear. Fenris has also prepared food, but it turns out it is all raw meat, which makes Fleo and the others unable to eat it, so Fleo and Balarasa re-prepare their food. The food is ready and looks very tasty, but Fenris still doubts that the food is delicious because she usually could only eat raw meat. Fleo also thanks Balarasa for helping him make food. Fenris tries eating the vegetables Fleo made and finds them very tasty, then Fenris also eats the cooked meat and really likes it. After that, Fleo and Fenris come to town to sell a lot of wild boars. Everyone seems amazed by Fleo's results, which catch monsters of great strength every day. While their catch is being counted, Fenris asks permission to leave because she had business, then the owner of the Adventurer's Guild wants to discuss with Fleo in the room, and it turns out that Fenris is going to learn how to cook. The guild owner tells Fleo that Fleo's news has spread throughout the city, then Fleo gets an offer to become the hero's right hand to fight the demon king, and of course, Fleo will get the title of respect for his work. The guild owner is amazed by Fleo and Fenris for being able to defeat the mad bear that the hero couldn't handle. Fleo knows that his goal of helping the hero is noble, but Fleo doesn't want to clash with the demon race. Fenris looks very messy because she previously participated in cooking practice but was always careless and ruined the practice. Even so, Fenris still doesn't give up on being able to melt Fleo's heart with her cooking. It is seen the golden-haired hero hears rumors about Fleo and wants to recruit him as his right hand so he can return to the battlefield. A month later, Fleo still can't accept the offer to become the hero's right hand. Meanwhile, it is seen that Blossom is already more skilled at gardening than practicing swords. Fenris also teaches Bailary to do archery, but because she doesn't feel comfortable killing cute animals, it is difficult for her to hone her archery skills. Fleo also gives Bellino a ring to store magic energy, but Fenris warns her not to put it on her ring finger. Balarasa asks Fleo for help when a monster attacks her, but Fenris thinks it is just to lure Fleo because Balarasa's rank should be able to defeat the monster easily. After that, they eat together with food made by Fenris, and they are surprised to taste how delicious Fenris' cooking is. It turns out that Fenris' hard work during cooking training has paid off and created delicious dishes for Fleo. Fenris also cooks curry to melt Fleo's heart, and Fleo likes her cooking, which makes Fenris happy. In the distance, Eliminas is surprised to see Fenris familiar with the human race, and it turns out that Fenris is already aware of Eliminas' existence, so she invites her to her house. Fleo greets her well, even though Eliminas is currently scouting the area and sees Fenris near the humans. Eliminas is also surprised that Fenris and Fleo are husband and wife. Eliminas tries to read Fleo's magic ability but can't see it, while Eliminas can read the Demon King's magic ability. Eliminas is also confused as to why there are no Demon King troops in the Delavisa forest, and Fleo answers that it is because he is using purification magic, which shocks Eliminas. Eliminas says that Fleo had killed Fenris's brother and his troops because they used purification magic in the Delavisa forest, and Fleo is shocked to hear that. Fenris already realizes that it was Fleo's doing, but it was also Fenris's brother's fault because he couldn't avoid the purification magic, and Fenris will keep staying with Fleo. It turns out that the knights have eavesdropped on their conversation and are surprised that they found Fenris in the form of a kid before. Eliminas also invites Fleo to practice sparring to find out his power, but it turns out Eliminas has a cunning plan to kill him. After that, they go out to start practicing sparring, then Eliminas immediately releases two magic at once to kill Fleo and Fenris. Fleo manages to neutralize the magic and bind Eliminas, but then he threatens to kill her because Eliminas has targeted Fenris.
The next morning, Fleo tells the knights that he has lied to them. Balarasa as a knight, has to report to the kingdom, but hearing that Fenris is not on the side of the demon king, the knights do not report it. Besides, Fenris and Fleo have been kind to them. From outside, Eulimina's returns with the dragon army that has wiped out troops in the past. Fleo is actually amazed to see the dragon in person. Eulimina's orders the dragons to attack them, and then Fleo uses celestial magic to take down the dragons. Eulimina's is shocked by Fleo's magic, and the other dragons run away after seeing that. Blossom wants to kill the dragon to get the title of Dragon Slayer, then Fleo tells Blossom to throw the hoe, and Fleo uses magic until the hoe succeeds in killing the dragon, making Blossom get the title of Dragon Slayer easily. Balarasa and the others also want to get it, but the dragons have gone far. The Demon King already sees Fleo's extraordinary abilities, and he summons all his commanders to start moving. Then, this episode ends. Is it interesting enough about this episode? If you're still curious about the continuation of this anime, you can wait for the latest video on our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.